There is, of course, a very important development potentially uh, in our reporting today, and that is the reporting of the possibility, as uh, we understand it, of warnings having been delivered to the police and to the intelligence services uh, as long ago as five years ago uh, about the uh, extreme and violent views which are attributed to Salman Abedi, the uh, suspected bomber who was responsible for those 22 deaths and many injuries, of course, on Monday night at the Manchester Arena. I think it's worth telling you a little more about what we're being told um, because BBC News has been told that a Muslim community worker um, reports that members of the public called the uh, police anti-terror hotline uh, warning about the, uh, uh, the views of Abedi um, several years ago. We understand it's five years ago. Uh, the community worker who didn't want to be identified said that two people who knew Abedi uh, at college had made uh, separate calls to the police at that time. Uh, they'd been worried that he was supporting terrorism, that is the quote, and had expressed the view that being a suicide bomber was something that uh, he considered to be a valid thought. Uh, the friends had argued with him, they said, um, telling him he was wrong, but they'd become so concerned that they then uh, came into contact with police, made contact with the police. Uh, the community worker said um, uh, that all of the publicity these days is about Muslims not coming forward. Um, and uh, this statement was being made uh, to prove that some had come forward in the past uh, and had expressed their concerns. And then the community worker goes on to say, this shows that the prevent policy is a failure. Now, the prevent policy is the official government strategy which is meant to counter the radicalization of, of especially young people. Um, this community worker saying this shows that prevent is a failure because it didn't work. Making lots of Muslims feel scared doesn't work and it didn't stop this person being radicalized. So that is the information the BBC got this afternoon from a local Muslim community worker reporting that these uh, warnings had been made as long ago as um, 2012 2011-2012.